So one of the things I talk about in the videos a lot of times is sort of giving yourself a thing to focus on during your rolling. I think it's really important. You can get a lot more from your rolling by going out and having something to focus on opposed to just going through the motions and having a good workout. That's fine. Sometimes like mentally and physically we need that, but there's other times you wanna have something to focus on. In today's rolling video, I'll be focusing on a couple things you'll see. One is I'll actually let people pass the side control so that I can use that iron squirrel that I work where I basically bring my hand up here to block to escape out of side control. I'm working on doing a couple different passes. There's a couple different ones, so I'm not gonna go over them now, but again, a couple different specific passes. If you know what to look at, you will see them used or attempted multiple times. And then submission wise, I was looking for a particular arm bar that I have, which again is a shotgun arm bar. If you want more details on that sucker, if you look at it, you can look down in the links below and I have a couple of courses as well as videos on the YouTube channel you can check out. But those were the submissions I was looking for. Those were the techniques that I was looking for. So with that said, enjoy the rolling video. My partner can stay in square for me perfectly fine like this. Take a step forward, lower our level. Fall in. Now you step in. I grab the knees, step up, and get a hold of his waist. Right here, because so, we don't want to be like this. We want to be back here, okay? And we grab, could you hand palm to palm for me? We did hand fighting on Monday. Um, we'll start today off and do some, uh, just do some full rounds. So we'll do six minutes. If you have takedown experience and you feel good with your partner, say, hey, let's start on the feet and you guys start on the feet and just full roll from there. And again, if for some reason, if you're up against someone, you don't feel like you can get a good takedown on them, you can always pull guard and, and sit if you want to. All right? Questions? Grab a partner. One, two, three.
Swivel the foot in. Now push down his neck here. Step over. No, no. Okay. Step over first. Again, arm bar. Step oh, up. Step up. Yeah. Sit yeah. back. Bang. Right here. Now slide your hand back to his elbow. And I, I like to kind of. You can hold like this. I like sliding it back. Actually, into the elbow. So I call it shot. Oh, like there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So right yeah. there. So well, welcome. Get some rolls in with him. Is this you guys know the drill. Good work. So this is one of our black belts, Rich. He's up in Rhode Island. He was coming down to train, so we got some rolling in today. And at the very end of training, um, he was asking me a, a critique on a technique that we're going. And because he was angry about our roll earlier, he headbutted me. <laughs> and I still lost. Bust up my nose. And you got, you got a nice little, he's got a little cut here. Um, but uh, so he came down to train a little bit. He was one of my... Uh, original black belts. He's up here on the wall. So if you guys ever come to the gym, you'll see the wall of black belts behind us. He's up there, up in the very front. Uh, it's been a long time. And uh, where do you train at? What's your gym up there? Uh, it's called Just Train in North Kingstown, Rhode Island. North Kingstown, Rhode Island. So if you guys live in that area and you guys want to train with someone that like basically was one of my like OG students back in the day, go train with them. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.